What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss why Eminem learned rapping again in his career. Stay tuned to know more. Eminem is not only responsible for generating a large number of excellent rap albums throughout his career, but he has also been vocal in breaking down the barriers and raising the bars in terms of what it means to be a lyrically competitive rapper. Even though he is in the climax of his career and is 50 years old, he has shown no clue of slowing down. Not only the music, but Eminem has got huge success outside of the rapping world. However, it is noticed that Eminem's career has been reflected by controversies and criticism, but the rapper's impact is unparalleled compared to other rappers. Despite all odds, the best thing about the rapper is that he is never afraid to accept his mistakes and talk openly about them. Eminem has also talked about his deadly overdose that happened 15 years ago while exposing the complicated detox and recovery process that he went through after that. Paul Rosenberg, the rapper's longtime manager, invited him to appear on an episode of Paul Pot Curtain Call 2 where they thought back on the life-changing event and how his life was before and after the moment. Well, Eminem also opened up about the process of relearning how to rap. And they even talk about the development of the album Relapse, which was released in 2009. The rapper said that he took his first drug between the ages of 24 and 25 when he could not buy anything he desired. He claimed that in the beginning everything was simple. He said, Because of my financial situations, I could not become seriously active in the drug trade. I would do them if somebody presented them to me as an option. As my career evolved, my audiences grew larger and my life became more hectic. I found myself reaching for that thing for an increasing number of times. I depended on it as a support system in order to calm my nerves, especially the sleeping pills. However, as his addictions progressed, the substances started to affect his artwork. They started to suppress his creativity, turn off his brain, and make him so lazy that he preferred watching televisions than creating new music. He claimed that when he listens to albums such as Encore from 2004, he can hear how focused he was in the music. During the course of his fight against addiction, Eminem also found himself in a horrible place. He developed low eating habits and his weight achieved a new all-time high of 230 pounds in 2007. The reason was that he was using substances at the time, and the rapper argued that he was so focused on the medications that he began taking a heavy dose at night. However, his late partner tried to get him off the drugs. It wasn't sufficient. Eminem has noted that even after hearing his childhood best friend express real concern, it was not enough to motivate him to come clean about his medication use. The rapper explained by saying, He'd say what was on his mind, but considering how close he was, it was of no consequence. I wasn't prepared to pay attention. Nobody could point out to me that I had a problem, which was really frustrating. After that, there was a break of over four years during which the rapper tested himself into treatment but then relapsed and fell into a drug funk. Meanwhile, he also reduced his weight and got back to 149 pounds. It wasn't until he released the album Relapse and started to show signs of beginning to pull himself out of the medication funk. During the making of his comeback album Relapse in 2009, he said, I remember when I first got sober and all the things were out of my system. I remember just being very joyful and everything was new to me again. It was the first album I had fun recording in a very long time and it was also the first one I recorded. However, the rapper first desired to retain themselves in the art that they had been doing for various years. He explained that it was like the first time he started having fun with music again and relearning how to rap. The entire process took a very long time for his brain to start working again after that. Many young people can relate to Eminem's music since it often reflects his own struggles in life. And knowing how hard he worked not just to build up his career but build back his life is very inspirational. What's your take on this topic? Tell us in the comment section. With that being said, it's time to end our video. See you soon. Peace out.